Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be on the beautiful I&H ponytails. I do have a couple of different ones and shades I would love to share with you guys. They did send two of these ponytails over, but I am a huge, huge supporter and lover of I&H myself. I have about seven to eight ponies that I purchased on my own. So they were so sweet to contact me about a month ago and they wanted to send over some of their ponytails. Thank you so much to INH. That is so sweet, especially since, you know, I am a smaller creator and yeah, I just think that was really, really cool. So I do have the Maya pony today and I do have the Shayla pony, but I also will be pulling out some other ponytails that I purchased and you know, showing you some colors and stuff like that. They do have a ton of colors. These retail for $54. They were also so sweet to give me a discount code for you guys. It is Brooke15 if you would like to save 15% off on these ponytails. But if you would like to see how to apply these ponytails, how super simple it is, and you know, all the befores and afters, then just keep on watching. So the main two ponies that I'm going to be talking about today are the Maya Pony, which is right here, and then the Shayla Pony, which is like a really wavy, fun, beachy ponytail. That one I have never tried before. This Maya Pony is one of my favorites though, because this is the one that I wear the most. So the Maya Pony retails for $54, and it is 110 grams, yes, 110 grams and 26 inches. So it's a long, sleek, straight ponytail, as you can tell, super long. I can't even get it in the full frame, let's not, let's try not to catch it on fire. <laughs> so you can tell it's super long, there we go, you can see the full length right there. It comes with this little curled piece, which is the part that you wrap around right here so this all blends together and you don't see this velcro strip right here and they're super super simple to put in as well but one of the reasons why I love INH so much is as you could tell my hair is pretty thin and I've always wanted thick you know thick hair because I love to do braids especially and I just think thick braids are so pretty and like a nice thick ponytail. So it does give me that little bit of extra confidence when it comes to my hair because I am pretty insecure about my hair, especially like in the back. It's pretty thin back here. These just help me, you know, boost my confidence a little bit and I just really love them. They're always super soft, very well made, and I love to wear them. You can wear them on nights out, you can wear them during the day, photo shoots, they look so pretty in photo shoots, and just like everyday wear. So Maya is definitely one of my favorite ponies, as well as the Jordan pony, which I will pull out later in the video. Also, when you do purchase a pony, before you open the zipper, if you don't think it's going to match or you're not really sure if it's going to match, unbuckle this right here, this little piece right here, and there's actually a sample of it inside. So you can open this before you actually open the ponytail. So this is really, really helpful, and you can go off of that to see if it matches, and if not, then you can, you know, trade it in for a different color. Speaking of color matching, you actually can message them on Instagram. They're usually super fast at responding, or email, and send them a picture of your hair, and they will best match you, which is what they did with me. So let's go ahead and put this on. I'll show you how super simple it is. One thing you can do is you can leave your hair out if it actually blends super well, or you can put your hair in like kind of like a little top knot and put the ponytail over that, which is what I'm going to do today. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's really easy. It literally takes just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to start with putting up my hair. So what I'm going to do is, I might have to lower my chair, there we go, okay. So let me do a before ponytail so you guys can see what my before ponytail looks like before the Maya pony. Okay, so this is my natural ponytail. As you can see, it's not bad, like it's really, really cute, but if you want extra volume and oomph and ooh, <laughs> then yes. 
These ponytails are amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting my hair in a ponytail and then I'm just going to slightly put it into a bun and leave some of this out. And then just wrap this around and tuck it into the ponytail. And then what you have is this little piece right here. This piece right here is going to stick down in your ponytail and then you're going to wrap the hair around. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys, but it's hard to do it while not looking in a mirror. I mean, it's not hard, but it's, it's challenging a little bit. Some people also flip their head upside down and do it that way. So the ponytail is flipped like that and it, the hair isn't getting caught in the Velcro. Hopefully everything stays in focus. So I'm just going to put this right here at the base of my ponytail like that. Wrap this piece as far as it'll go. Take this extra piece right here and wrap it as tightly as possible onto that other Velcro piece like that, like so. Then you're going to take this extra piece of hair right here and you're just going to wrap it around to hide the Velcro. And I think we did it, you guys. I think it looks good. And um, these ponytails do come with like heavy duty bobby pins which is super nice and they do sell these separately as well in black and these come with nude because it's a blonde hair color and then this is the part I'm not the greatest at is the bobby pinning part usually I try to do it at the bottom just gotta kind of feel around for it just kind of play with it and you'll eventually you know figure it out it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. So as you can tell, you can wear it high, you can wear it as a mid pony, or you can wear it as a low pony. So here is the after. I think it is so beautiful. It makes your hair just look like so full. And as you can tell, you cannot see my little bun or like top knot. So yeah, it's, it's really easy, you guys. And you really just have to play around with it, but it becomes so simple once you get the hang of it. I love to wear the Maya Pony in a low pony and then braid it, and it makes me feel like Rapunzel. I wear it that way all the time. So yeah, that's one of my favorite ways to wear this pony. That's the Maya Pony, and now I'm gonna try on the Shayla Pony. And then to take it out, whoop, I just take the bobby pins out. And just be careful when taking it out because sometimes your natural hair can get stuck in the Velcro as well as the um, as well as the fake ponytail. So just be careful taking it out so you don't pull anything. And that's literally it, you guys. That's how you take it out. Super simple. Okay, so for the Shayla pony, I think I'm going to do a lower ponytail. That's a lot of the ways that I see people wear the Shayla Pony. I'm really excited for this pony. Like I said, I've never won the Shayla Pony before. And again, the Shayla Pony retails for $54. And I believe that this one is 160 grams of hair. Like, it's a lot of hair. It's more than the Maya Pony. So here is a beautiful Shayla Pony. And the thing about the Shayla, it is so unbelievably soft like it feels like a soft fluffy puppy or kitten like I don't know it's just so so soft it's crazy it's super beachy it would look so beautiful on the beach and yeah so let's go ahead and put her in okay so the Shayla Pony was not as easy as the Maya Pony to put on, but it's still really simple. I think it's the waves that I'm not used to when I was trying to wrap it around the ponytail. But I think if I curled my bangs or did some like crimped bangs, it would look so cute with this. Because right now my hair is straight, so it doesn't really fit the vibe of Shayla. But this is the Shayla Pony. It's super pretty. Again, unbelievably soft and really pretty. I feel like I would love to wear this one at the beach or in St. Augustine for some pictures or, you know, 
a night out. I think it'd be so beautiful. Kayla is also super long and a low ponytail, so I'll go ahead and show you how long she actually is. So as you can see, she almost goes to my butt, and I am like 5'6". So in a low pony, Shayla's really long on me, and Maya is about the same. I think they're both like 20, I think this one's 26 inches. Okay, so I put my Maya ponytail back on because I wanted to show you how I really love to wear it. It makes me feel like Rapunzel, so I just put it in a mid or low pony, and then I just braid it. Pull out the braids a little bit, and I just think it's so, so pretty, and it gives me the braids that I wish I could have with my natural hair. So yes, I love, love, love the Maya Pony. And I wanted to show you some different shades. So this is Ash Blonde. It's like a darker, ashier blonde. And then I also have, I believe this one's Espresso. Yes, this is one of my favorite shades. This shade is so beautiful. This is the shade Espresso, and it is like a dark chocolate like true brown there's no red tint at all and it has a lot of subtle kind of blonde highlights in it but the majority of it is a darker ponytail and I think this is such a gorgeous gorgeous color this is my favorite one to wear in the winter or when I go brunette we also have the other shade that is one of my favorites this shade is toffee this is my favorite fall shade it's like a really pretty dark blonde light brown and it has those subtle hints of highlights in it as well. It is very very beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite shades to wear and that one is Toffee. This is the shade Honey but this, oh no this is, yes this is the shade Honey. It's like a really warm blonde but this is the Lily Pony, one of my favorite ponies as well. It's like a really nice naturally long ponytail and it has really pretty curls in it as well so that's the lily pony in honey i definitely want to um get the lily pony in ash blonde and then like i said earlier this is the jordan pony it's one of their more natural ponytails it has layers of curls in it and it's very very pretty again it's more of that naturally long it's not too long and it's not too short very very pretty ponytail this is the lightest of the ponytails because there's layers in it and it's one of my favorites to wear it's definitely not as heavy as the Maya pony the Maya pony can get a little heavy throughout the day because there is so much hair in it but I don't find it slipping as long as I have a nice sturdy ponytail you have to have a nice sturdy ponytail especially if you have a thinner hair like me so the ponytails do not slip down. I hope you guys found it helpful. I know it can be a little overwhelming going onto a hair extension site and trying to figure out your color. So hopefully this helped you a little bit. I showed you guys a few color options, but also you could contact them if you need help with coloring and all that. They're one of my favorite hair extensions and I always wear my hair up. So I think it's like the perfect fit, a ponytail hair extension. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out INH. And if you guys do decide to shop INH and buy yourselves a cute little ponytail extension, be sure to use my code BROOK15 for 15% off. That will save you guys a little bit of money and you can use that on the whole site. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.